So I have this simple PHP file here that says echo hello world and I'll try to run this using different methods. So first let's say I go to run and click on run without debugging. So I get this error. If I go to terminal and click on new terminal and type php index.html, I get this error that says term php is not recognized. And if I click on this code runner button, it'll say, let's see what it'll say. It's still saying php, the term is not recognized. So how can we fix this? Now, first error can be that you actually don't have php installed in your system. So this is not related to Visual Studio Code. You need to install php in your system. So if php is installed, you're sure, and you're still getting this error, continue this video, you will see how to fix this. If PHP is not installed, like you don't have XAMPP or standalone PHP, check the link in the description, it will show you how to install PHP. Okay, but if you are sure PHP is installed and you are still getting this error, go to your PHP installation directory. So first, by default, if you have installed using XAMPP, PHP is installed in C, inside XAMPP, inside our PHP folder. So here, I have PHP installed, right? To make sure, you can just scroll down and you will find this php.exe here. So I'll copy this path. If you have standalone installation of PHP, you can go inside that folder. If you have installed it using VAMP, you can go inside this folder, inside that folder and find PHP and copy that path. So you must be able to find php.exe and then copy the folder where, copy the folder path where php.exe exists. Now press Windows key and type environment variable and when you see this click on it and now click on environment variables and now there's two boxes here one is user variables for Vishal and another is system variables now if you just want PHP to be used by the current user you can double click on this but we want to make it available to everybody so I will double click on this path here okay and here in the bottom double click again and paste the path that we have just copied now hit OK, hit OK again, hit OK. Now you can close this, go back here and let's run this again and let's see what happens this time. I'm still getting this error. So what I can do is I can close all these terminals. Let's try this again. And I'm still getting this error. It means that I'll have to reload my Visual Studio Code. So I'll close this and I'll open Visual Studio Code again. And this time, let's run this again. So as you can see, this time it has successfully executed and we can see hello world. This is how you can fix the PHP not found error. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.